She make it clap, clap, clap. She make it clap, clap, clap. The same curve. I always run over that. So I ordered dinner. I'm just like really unmotivated to cook today. I'm just really like kind of down in mood, you know, just kind of like blase. And uh, I love my new kit. It makes it so easy to take my pills, honestly. Oh, I already took my night one? What? Did I already take my pill? I don't remember. We haven't been outside in a while. It would help. And you know what? It was cold. It was only 27 today. And at night it was like 22. I'm going up, I'm going up tomorrow for sure. So, like I have to go out tomorrow. I don't remember if I took my second metformin. That's not good. So I'm not going to take another one just in case I did. I did. I didn't take my brain pill. Maybe that's what's wrong with me. I'm glowing? I don't know why. I feel like crap on a stick. I sometimes run errands with Salah, but nothing interesting that's worth filming or anything, you know? Like actually going out with the purpose of doing content for you guys, that's different. That I haven't done in a while, but we do go out just for errands and stuff, but the ring on my finger? It's actually getting loose, like, <laughs> like it, it comes around here. Um, a little bit, not much. It's my wedding ring. If you like it better than you put a sugar ring on it. I'm sorry, what? I, I, I'm supposed to take two metformins, but I don't remember if I took it earlier because I had a nap and now I don't remember. So I'm just going to eat this meal and then try to just make that the last thing I eat today. I'm really stupid. Sometimes if I forget to put a pill in one, one day, I'll borrow from like Thursday. And then on Thursday, I don't remember if I took my pill. So that's not good either. <laughs> Maybe around 2 p.m. I had uh, some some jalapeno chicken tendies in the air fryer. Um, and I put two pieces on a bun with some mayo and hot sauce. And then I had three pieces outside of the bun and two small bags of salsa chips. And... That's it. I want to try like a day of just eating clean food. Like like my dinner yesterday. The problem is when I eat really clean, then that's when like my, like, I literally go through junk food withdrawal. And it's like makes you feel sick. It's true. You can withdraw from like sugar. You can withdraw from junk. Not like in a medical emergency way that you would with on like hard drugs or something, but you definitely feel it. You definitely feel it. <laughs> and it's so hard. You can eat more food. Yeah, I was watching a guy like, I was watching this like nutrition coach on TikTok and he said, for those of you who are having trouble overeating or binging, I want you to eat whatever you want, but it has to be clean food. Like, you're not going to want to, it's hard to overeat on really healthy food, basically. You're not going to want to eat. Like, somebody in the comments was like, yep, I tried to do that with eggs and I only made it to four. <laughs> hey, although I guess today I didn't go over my calories, you know, so I still have a, a lot I can have towards my dinner and my dinner's pretty healthy. Like, it's real food, so, that I ordered. It's not fast food or junk food. So, I really want to go out tomorrow, get some fresh air. I have some other plans and Salah and I are going to go out before I, I go to my plans. It's, I, I've been seeing a lot of videos too on food noise, so now I have all this like noise in my head like You did bad for the past couple days, you, you, you ate more than you should have, you ate things you probably shouldn't Everything I go to eat, I'm like this is bad, this is bad, and it's like food noise, it's just food noise, it's like I can't explain it, it's just annoying Actually, I um, one of Salah's friends, his wife, speaks good English and um, she invited me out to a cafe, so I'm gonna be meeting up with her but I'm not gonna say, I'm not gonna like talk about her, or bring her up, but like, you know, I want my friends and everything to be private. <laughs> Rightfully so, you know, hi Kiki. So yeah, I'm going on a little coffee thing and then, um, and I'm not saying which, <laughs> Salah has a lot of friends, a lot. She doesn't really go on social media much anyway. She's really busy mom and everything. So yeah, I don't really care about hanging out with other expats, honestly, like as long as, you know, I find like, as long as we can communicate like comfortably, that's all that I care about. <laughs> and the person's nice. I have a planner, but I forget to look at it. Like I forget to use it. <laughs> I have never been tested for ADHD, but I don't know. Feels like it, I guess. I need to look up one of those ADHD simulators and see if that's me. You ever watch those on TikTok? Like people with schizophrenia will do like a schizophrenia like simulator and like what it's like to have different, you know, um, mental illnesses and stuff. Smell bad in Canada.
Jorts. I don't want them to know I'm here. I don't go to the door ever. I don't know. Just mute automatically in case drama happens. I might want to go shut-ins. A little bit. Hey, Amy, hi. Okay, thanks, babe. something I never tried before, but it's from my favorite restaurant in the world. Honest, honestly, I have only asked a lot. <laughs> never mind. Oh, bread. Kebab hash hash, which is like kebab with like fresh tomatoes and herbs, I guess, and onion. It's supposed to be like kebab with tomato. They <laughs> didn't give me any of their pickles. <laughs> Lish. Lish. Their pickles are like the best, the reason I order from them. So I guess they're gonna give it to you if you order match boobs. Lentil soup in a bread bowl. Hi, purple mummy. Babe, I'm not really feeling the soup as much as I thought I would. Do you want me to bring you the leftover? Okay, let's try the hush hush. Very good. I'm gonna heat this up in the mic, really, and I'll be right back. Nick and I are watching my kitchen. Nick Akano? No way! <laughs> That's awesome. Congrats, Nick, on your weight loss. I'm hanging out right now. I'm doing the opposite. <laughs> thanks, Nick. Here's a heart for you. <laughs> but yeah, thanks for stopping in, Carly and, and Nick. Thank you so much for the love. I'm very, very proud of you for losing all that weight. That's crazy. I think we would have a, a good time, all of us hanging out one day. That would be so fun. Actually, I look like Nick Akano when I do this. <laughs> This dinner was um, not what I expected, no. Um, it's good. You know, I love Frisuela. But um, I was expecting it to be a tomato sauce without parsley. I was expecting... I wish there was rice. <laughs> oh, people complaining about the tiger. Whatever, he's probably just smoking some good shit. Leave him alone. Fuck off with that. I don't know, he was awake, but he was like... <laughs> he's cute! It's so long. And I don't even have a car, like... It's not the same going there without a car. I know that's like a dumb reason. I guess I'd have to rent one, which is very expensive, I find. Like, annoyingly expensive. Like, why? And I don't remember it being like that. It's like, I could just buy a car for what it would cost to rent a car for like a month. Seriously, you could buy a car. It's like a couple few thousand. Yeah, I got rid of my car. Because I didn't, like, you know, I'm started parking it and paying for it. And like, I don't know. You have the insurance and all that crap. It's been paid off and sold. The end of Kia era. Yeah. So sad. I could maybe buy it back. Because, <laughs> Zoe, I wasn't planning on, like, going back there. You know, for a long while. Buy it back. Well, no, I know who I sold it to. I can be like, can I have my car back? I don't care, Teardrop. They can stay outraged over the tiger. I don't care. Whatever. They they don't have proof that the drug the tigers are drugged. It's a suspicion. Um, and, uh... I don't know, they looked well taken care of, whatever. It, it, some people think it's exploitation, whatever, that's your opinion. Stay outraged, I don't care, whatever. It already happened, we have the picture, so. <laughs> I don't know, whatever. I don't have the same opinion as you, okay, so. Get over it. There's a lot of animals that thrive in captivity, like, it just depends on where. You know? She has a right to have ads, this is her job, yeah. I've had only one or two ads so far. Yeah, I have it on, like, like balanced setting, I don't know. YouTube wants to make money too, you know? I've had a lot of ads, but I'm not complaining. Thank you. I have, yeah, I have premium. I cannot not have it. I hate, like, I hate, okay. I feel bad because, like, I want to support other creators with ads because as a creator myself, you know, but I do have, like, um, I don't know. I You do get paid, I should say. You do get paid, like, part of premium proceeds as a creator. Yeah, so I, I'd like to support other creators because as a creator, I know that that's how we, we do earn money. I love premium, yeah, because you can also minimize something and listen to it while you're doing something. Listen to something while you're doing, I love, like, just putting on, like, a video documentary or a live stream or something like that but yeah i like i usually just do that late like if i'm sealing i try to still be productive even if i seal so i'll put on something to listen to and minimize it with you can do with premium and then i'll you know do like budgeting or work on things you know like planning yeah sea world makes me sad that's one thing i don't really love is big whales being in small tanks i can't stand that i don't know and yeah i do feel kind of bad for harry like his cage that's like literally the biggest one that we found at our pet store and i don't 
have the, you know, I just can't. I don't have the space, the means, everything to make him a big aquarium, you know? So I just, what I do is I just, you know, give him a lot of attention, get him, make sure he has toys, make sure he like to change things around in his cage to make it interesting. He has a tunnel. Um, he has a playpen. I let him in the playpen every so often throughout the day. Um, he can run around in there, you know, so I do what I can. Like, I don't, I don't wear my hijab when I'm working out and yeah, the curtain's open, but like during the day, the sun makes it so that you can't see in the windows. We've tested it. So yeah. <laughs> At night, no, you can see everything. That's, believe it or not, blog, that's what it is. You can't see anything in the day. So yeah, that's why I do it. I know you think you got me, but that's the explanation. I, that's why I open my curtains during the day, like even without hijab, because like anytime we come, we're driving back to the apartment, I said, oh yeah, you can't really see because of the way the sun is. The windows are during the day, you can't, really, can't see. Sorry, this is rude. I don't even know anymore what's socially acceptable and what's not. Maybe I never did. See you later. Bye.